No, I want to do the lunch. But, Carl... You've got to do the lunch. Look, my mum's organised. Everyone's going to be there. Please, just do the lunch, and then we'll sort all this stuff out. Oh, Christ. All right, look, we'll do the lunch. But I'll have to call your mum anyway and just tell her the wedding's off. I uh, don't tell her the wedding's off. What are you talking about? Oh, please don't tell my mum. Look, Carl, we can't just sit there and... Please don't. I don't tell her. Not yet. Not today. What are you going to say? But we'll say nothing. We'll, we'll pretend it's all OK. No! That's insane! Uh, just give me one more day, please. Our last day. No, Carl. OK, Donna. OK. Right, I'll tell you what, keep change. Thanks a lot. All the best to you. Well, you only do it once, didn't you? All right. Pop in for a glass of bubbly. I'm going to kill you when we get out of here. No, I just want to say a couple of words, if I may. <clears throat> now, obviously, I leave the speech to the wedding. But uh, for those of you who don't know, they've exchanged contracts on the house. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at Donna's face. Sorry, Donna. I couldn't keep it quiet any longer. Now, I think Carl <laughs> wants to say a few words. Oh, God. Get on with it, mate. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, Carl. Oh, Carl's just, um, hangover. Oh, <laughs> so I'm going to speak for him. Get used to it, Carl. Yes. Yeah, that, that's funny. Uh, so, Car Carl and I are looking forward to this wedding, I suppose. Um, Give him a kiss. Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. Oh. I love Carl. Oh, I um, well, it's, it's going to be the biggest and, and best day of our lives. Oh, and uh, to see so many of you here sharing, well, sharing our love, actually. Past the sick bucket. <laughs> means. Um, means so much to us. No, it, re it really does, because, um, well, you're the people who matter most. <laughs> As we find ourselves about to begin this, this new life together, we feel privileged that so many of you have uh, chosen to be here with us at the start of that great adventure. Oh! <laughs> this man, this Carl, he's a good, he's a lovely man. <laughs> And he deserves so much. Better than me, actually. And, and I can only say that he has embellished my life with love to, to such an extent that... Donna's cancelled the wedding. She doesn't love me anymore. Thank you. Um, I can't remember what it's going to um, That... That, that, um, I'm just trying to think. <laughs> Get your thinking cap on, Donna. Fuck off, prick! I'm so sorry, girl. God, no, that's not a good idea. What are you doing? For God's sake, are you mental? Get off me! Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow, Donna. Can't hang about. <gasps> God. Um, right, I, I better um, thank you for the. Okay, bye. Where do you think you're going? No, I, I thought it was best if I just go. Well, you're wrong. It is not best. 
Margaret. You're going to get back in there. You're going to say you're sorry and you're going to marry my son. I did not buy a 500 pound suit and spend six weeks looking for a church with disabled access for you to just go. Look, Margaret, I really love Carl, but... Good. That's settled then. Now get back in there. No, it... I'm sorry. I, I really am, but it, it would just be wrong for both of us. Not for me, it wouldn't. I meant me and Carl. Who gives a shit about you and Carl? I've got a table full of guests in there expecting a wedding tomorrow. Look, Donna, why don't you just marry him? And if you still feel the same in a couple of weeks... I'm not going to marry someone I don't want to marry, Margaret. Why? What's wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. He's just... <sighs> There's something missing in in my life. And, and I realised that last night. I... I just want to feel happy, Margaret. I just... I just think life should be... fun. You're destroying my son's life for fun. No, that, that sounds... yeah, sort of. Well, you have your fun, because Carl's better off without you. And let me tell you, do not expect him to be there when you come crawling back, because I will tell you one thing about my son. He has more dignity oh, than to no, hang... No, 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 no. I'm a terrible person. Come on. You're not a terrible person. But if you'd seen his face, he, he was so hurt. I'm evil. You're not evil. I know evil, and you're not evil. Yeah. Anyway, you've done it now. There's no going back. Thank you, Louise. <sighs> no, I'm just saying, even if she did, it's too late. Too much pain there now. I don't think you can destroy a man and then go back to him. <laughs> Ow! Sorry! <sighs> so where are you going to stay? She can stay here. Is that OK? But there's no room. She can have the spare room. What spare room? The spare room. What spare room? The spare room, Louise. The spare room. The shit room. Oh, the shit room. The shit room. Here we go. We call it the shit room because it's where we chuck all the bits of old shit that nobody wants. So what do you think? A brush brush here and a mop mop there? I'll tell you what, we're going to leave you to settle in for a bit. I'll go and buy some booze so that we can celebrate your newfound freedom, all right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I just really feel like this is going to be... This is a brand new...